The top six things to consider when choosing the target audience for your personal branding. The target audience is one of the most important parts of your personal branding strategy. In order for it to be successful, you need to fully understand your audience, their wants, needs, and what you can do for them. This presentation will outline the top things to consider when you choose the target audience for your personal branding. Fair warning! This will feature a load of rhetorical questions, and it is worth discovering the answers. You may need a pen. 1. Demographic First and foremost, who is your target demographic? A key part of the marketing strategy is to understand your consumer exactly. 2. Desires What do your audience want? Now that you have defined your audience's main traits, you need to determine what exactly they want. This could be in terms of products, content, and level of interaction they like with their brands. 3. Challenges What difficulties do they face? What problems do they have that you can solve? Make them realize that something about their lives is missing or suboptimal and wrong. It sounds a little harsh, and it can be a little confronting. But good business requires encouraging customers to solve problems that they did not even know they had. 4. How can you improve their lives? Use their desires and their challenges and tell your audience how you will improve their lives. Be strong and firm about this in your personal branding. Having strong and authoritative personal branding means that your audience will be intrigued and feel compelled to interact with your content. Everyone wants a better life. You have to show them that it is possible, and you're the one that will give it to them. 5. Which media do they frequent? Make sure that you are using the same media as your audience. If a tree falls in a forest, but everyone else is in a field, does anyone care? The short answer is no. Tailor your content to that specific media and show them that you are there. 6. How to speak to them Would they respond better to a written form, a visual form, a video, a podcast? Whatever it is, use it. There are many different ways of communicating with audiences, so you need to choose the most appropriate. Language is also key. Use words, phrases, and speech patterns that are familiar and comforting to your audience. A huge part of your personal branding should show that you understand your target audience, and this includes speaking to them in such a way that they want to listen. One example of this is memes. How online is your audience? There is no point creating new content with the latest meme format if your audience will not understand it. They will just think that you're weird, plain and simple. To conclude, you need to have a complete picture of your target audience in order for your personal branding to be successful. You have to understand them completely in order to market to them effectively. Your branding needs to show that you are someone that your audience respects, enjoys, and wants to interact with in order to gain a loyal following. You need to share your content in places where not only will your audience see it, but they will want to engage and interact with it. Your personal branding has the power to achieve all this. You just have to ensure that it does, in such a manner that your audience will respect, appreciate, and trust you. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.